Hey guys, Adam here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a little bit of coaching. You can coach either football, basketball, baseball, right? But the biggest thing about sports is being able to make your players comfortable. So are they gonna be comfortable if they have a coach that's always upset or yelling at them? Are they gonna be okay if even when they mess up, the coach encourages them to do their best. Part of being a coach is being able to navigate the ups and downs. So we're gonna take a look at what some good coaching looks like. It's okay. You still were playing hard, and I appreciate that. And what some bad coaching looks like. Oh my God, you suck. So hey, let's be ready to check this video out. So for example here, the player makes the shot, right? And you see he's really excited about what he did. So what you want to do as a coach is make sure that regardless of if a player makes or misses a shot that you keep an even personality regardless, right? If you get too happy when they make a shot or you get too down on them when they mess up, the player is going to react to those highs and those lows. So right here is the example of a bad coach. He's not bad because he's being hard on his players or wanting the best for them. He's bad because he's hollering at them. He's embarrassing them. He's making them feel down about themselves. If you're in the middle of the game and you're hollering at kids, which I've seen before. You're horrible. Get out the game. Here, you get in the game. What do you think that does to them? What do you think that looks like to their parents if their parents are watching? We all have our hard coaches, or the coaches who push you to be the best. But you always want to be able to keep that balance. Vice versa for the good coach. You always want to be able to encourage your players, right? It's okay. You still were playing hard, and I appreciate that. But you don't ever want to be a pushover or not have the respect of the players. An encouraging coach knows what buttons to push when to tell a player when they messed up. Even if they do something great, you tell them that it was good and you move on to the next play. You had him open right over there. A good coach is able to find a balance in between the game of letting the players know when they messed up, when they could do better, and even when a player does something good of how they can improve and make themselves better. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Today you saw what some good coaching looks like and some bad coaching looks like. Now what kind of coach do you want to be? Remember, sometimes being hard on your player doesn't mean you're being a bad coach though. Okay? So that's all I could leave you guys with. And be sure to follow me at BGCC Adam and be sure to like and subscribe.